Hello dear students, how are you? I hope all of you are doing good. I welcome all the students of 10th standard in the next session of information technology. So students, today we are going to start chapter number 6, email intermediate. So before starting the topic, I would like to ask you, do you maintain your diary or do you maintain your schedule? If yes, then this is going to be a very interesting topic for you. You can maintain your calendar, day-to-day -day work and weekly work, monthly work in your software. So, there are so many such a type of calendar softwares which will help you to maintain your timetable and schedule and will be able to give you the alarm. Such a type of softwares are Thunderbird, Gmail, Mailbird and Outlook Express. So, today we are going to learn working with calendar schedule an appointment, categorize an appointment. So, do you know what do you mean by time management? Yes, time management is very very important aspect of our life. Time management is the act of planning to stay organized that will result in increased efficiency and productivity. Time management can be performed using simple technique such as paper and pen. You can also use calendar software to play your time. Calendar software provide the user an electronic version of calendar. It is a time management tool. A system of organizing day for social, religious, commercial or administrative purpose. Some of the time management softwares that can be used for managing your time and timetable are Outlook Express, Google Calendar, Yahoo Calendar, etc. They may be a online software or offline software, but those which are online software need to be log in and will need an internet connectivity. So let us start with Outlook Express. Before starting Outlook Express, we have to check whether Microsoft Office is installed in our system. Outlook Express is one of the software of Microsoft Office package. So, for starting a Outlook Express, click on Start menu, click on All program and search for Microsoft Office. As soon as you will click on a Microsoft Office, that software will appear. Do you know students, it is possible to schedule your timetable according to the days or week wise even you can schedule and look after your timetable month wise. Also it is possible to create your appointment on weekly basis or even you can create your timetable on daily basis. Scheduling an appointment is first point that we are going to learn in Outlook Express. So as you can see there are so many menus as we can see in our Microsoft softwares. So first of all click on file menu and go to new option and just select appointment. As soon as you will click on appointment, a window will appear. 
this window is an appointment window where you can set the subject and start time and ending time of the appointment as soon as you will set the appointment for example in this appointment we have in this appointment we have set an appointment to the dentist and its location is Kare clinic and our appointment will start at 3.30 and 4. As soon as you will set the appointment and another window will appear. It will ask you whether you want to set the meeting and at what time you want to snooze the alarm. After clicking on snooze, we have to click on save and close option. As you can see in the red circle. Now students, your calendar looks like this. Now just observe as we have set the timing of dentist it is showing on that day that is 3rd of April 3rd of May and in this way we will be able to set our appointment now let us learn to set the recurring appointment do you know what is the meaning of reoccurring? Reoccurring means doing something again and again, such as going to the school every day, having your breakfast every day, going to the gym every day. If we have to set some timing and schedule our day to day schedule, then we have to use recurring appointment. For starting the recurring appointment option, we have to right click on any of the date of the calendar. Then a pop-up menu will appear where the new recurring appointment option will appear. Now, as soon as we click on recurring appointment, this window will appear. In this window, we have to set the timing starting timing and end timing of the appointment for how many times you want to continue with this you can set the recurring pattern into daily weekly monthly or yearly basis now let us learn how to set the recurring appointment just like a simple appointment, we have to set the subject and location and timing. And once we have set the recurring appointment, and as you can see, we have set the recurring appointment for the gym. And it will be applied to all the days of the month. This is nothing but a recurring appointment. So students, don't you find it very interesting? I hope all of you will try it definitely. Now, the next point is customize the appearance of the calendar. Yes, as you can change the appearance of your desktop. In the same way, you can change the appearance of your calendar. It is possible with the help of option available in the calendar for appearance in the calendar you have to click on the option of the tool menu 
once you click on the calendar option you will be able to do the necessary changes in categorizing an appointment yes you can categorize the appointment on the basis of their work and you can categorize with the help of the appearance you can categorize the appointment in time management software by giving the specific color to the appointment for example you can use green color for all the school related activity and blue color for personal activity you can do categorization from the categorize option available in the ribbon in categorize option once you click on categorize you will be able to see a list of color from where you can select one of the color and set it for some particular appointment just look at the page we have set red color for the school work and green color for go to gym appointment in this way it becomes easier to see and analyze your calendar easily so students today we will end with this topic and i hope all of you are at home stay home save life thank you and take care